AI can be used for so many different things in sports. From this point in time, I think there are three main applications. One is performance, so the performance of your athletes, um, of your team as a whole, financially, operationally, then that's one. Then second would be things like injury prevention, knowing before a human would be able to tell you when you're stretching yourself too far and when to stop before you get injured. Um, and the third one would be for entertainment. So for things like um, fantasy fo football or fantasy leagues. So those are the three main applications, but from where we are right now, AI is still very, it's still nascent. Um, so the applications we're looking at are really just the tip of the iceberg. We have a very close relationship with UFC. So when the decision was made to host the Fight Island a tournament on, in Abu Dhabi on Yas Island last year, we were thrilled to be involved in assisting and setting up the bubble um, to ensure a safe zone for everyone to participate in that tournament. The Department of Culture and Tourism did a wonderful job together with government and the Department of Health in setting up the bubble. Two weeks prior to the event, uh, 1,700 staff members from seven hotels went into quarantine and we tested them every three days to ensure that when the international delegates arrived for the event two weeks later, a safe bubble had been established. The, during the tournament, which lasted uh, four weeks, there were 52 fights. Um, we did 18,500 tests on the, the international delegates and the staff, and we had zero positive results. So I think we, as Abu Dhabi, can be really proud that we were able to host what is probably the first mass sporting event um, during the COVID pandemic. And we did that successfully. We um, dedicated more than 80 nurses for that mission. They were operating on a 24 seven basis. They were operating according to the flight schedules for the international delegates. As soon as the samples arrived into the lab, the samples were immediately processed and they were um, usually uh, delivered within less than 12 hours. We also introduced uh, rapid methods for, um, for testing, which um, would give the result within 15 minutes for anyone that um, missed a test or um, for the new arrivals before getting into the, uh, the hotels. I think AI can replace a coach, but it shouldn't. Um, and I'll, I'll tell you why. So sports are, sports are emotional. When people play sports, when people watch sports, it's something that you do socially. It's something that means something to you. And for a lot of people, it's something that they'll, they'll scream, they'll fight, they'll cry over. Um, so yes, I think AI can replace a coach technically. However, it can never, or at least for the next few decades or centuries, it cannot replace the emotional component of a coach. And that human touch, which still has a lot of value.